Hi friends, this is Amanda. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Oakland County, Michigan. I'm an A7 size girl in an A2 size world. That just means I make 5x7 cards. Please take note of my June 2024 host code if you're going to be purchasing anything from Stampin' Up! in June 2024 and don't have a demonstrator, I'd love for you to um, use that code that helps me out. All right, so we're going to use uh, a new online exclusive. That means you can only find it online. It's not in any catalog. I think it's going to be available in July. I did not do this as a uh, voiceover, but unfortunately my uh, microphone was well, it just didn't work again for the second time. I fixed it, I think. Thank goodness. All right, so this greatest adventure, we are going to be pairing it with um, Take to the Sky, which is a wonderful set. I love it. It's gonna. We're going to take Knight of Navy. We're going to take a card base. Let me tell you what this greatest adventure set um, says. Uh, but for that, let me, let me just show you how you can make a 5x7 card base without opening your arm. I know that's kind of a pain sometimes. So on the short end, you um, you cut at one inch, I'm sorry, one and a half inch. And then from the opposite side that we normally cut off from the long side, we take off of an inch and then we score it in half at five. So easy peasy, really simple. But um, yeah, so we're making a five by seven card. So you take an inch and a half off the short side, an inch off the long side, and you're good. All right, so let's talk about the other measurements, which is this is a piece of Knight of Navy. Now you can um, make a white card base, but I chose instead to um, do this in Knight of Navy. If I had to do it over again, I would um, use I would use a white card base. Okay, so that piece of uh, Knight of Navy over there, I believe it's um, seven inches by four. And then the piece of designer series paper is seven inches by one and a half. And then we're going to cut a piece of basic white that is at least um, seven inches by half an inch. So we're just gonna let a quarter of an inch hang out there. All these measurements um, go to seven because we are going to make a full looking card. So you can, like I said, use white, basic white for the card base. Uh, there's no need to use the um, Knight of Navy, but oh well, it is what it is. We're just going to attach this piece of one and a half inch by seven designer series paper that is from Take to the Sky, and we're going to put that right on the edge. Uh, you might want to add some liquid adhesive so that you can use some wiggle room. Uh, and you might want to use your silicone mat, that would help. Then I'm just gonna run a little, going to run a little piece of, a little amount of glue on the edge of the Knight of Navy and allow the white to peek out. And that way we just have a cute little edge, no big deal. And there we go, there's our sketch. We're gonna pop this up. Love this uh, designer series paper. The colors in there are boho blue and Knight of Navy. And Stamp It Up has two different thicknesses of dimensionals, but it actually has lots of different ways you can get your dimensionals. You can get minis, you can get black, you can get this foam sheet, you can get the strips, um, you can get the regular dimensionals, lots of ways to do that. So we're gonna use these foam sheets. I'm gonna cut them pretty small and put them all over the back side of this. I do something really bad here and I make it too close to the edge. I want it to the edge, but not that close to the edge. So we have it really close to the edge here and I'm going to have to take out a new tool, which is fun for me. Um, and we'll use the new take your pick tool accessories. I'm not really quite, I'm not really sure what they're called. Um, let's just see if I can shop products. Let me see if the tools are in here and are they called, they take your pick crafter tips. They're fun. There is a um, sharp knife, a pick, um, a perforator wheel, and what looks like a dental pick. I'm sorry, it just says a, a poker and a dental pick. It just looks like that. But I'm gonna take those strips that I had because I don't want the th double thickness of um, 
the strips. So I cut my foam sheets into strips. Just gonna take a few seconds to release all this release paper. These are the same size, of course, as the dimensionals. So those are easy. I wish Ship It Up had a little bit thinner one, I think. So I think we, I, I wish we had a, um, a thick, a medium, and a thin. But you know, what are you gonna do? I'm glad that Stampin' Up has two sizes, um, two thicknesses of foam tape, that's fun. And I really like the thickness of it. I um, added li liquid adhesive to my foam sheets because I wanted to make sure that this was right to the edge. And that's when I realized, oh no, oh Amanda. Um, so I try to I I try to play here and and scooch this up, but I'm gonna have to um, move it, cut it, and uh, pick your take your pick crafters tips. That um, blade is perfect. Just add a little bit more liquid adhesive. Remember, this is the My Sweet Petunia glue press. I love it, and um, I love the glue that's in it right now. It's the Nuvo glue. I normally use art glitter, so this is comparable. The Nuvo glue is comparable to Art Glitter glue. I also like Barely Art Glue. I do not use Tombow Mono. I like the glues that um, that's, don't stay sticky when wet and dry completely matte. So here we go. I realize, I'm like, how do I do this? I, I fumble with it for a good long time. And um, then I realize it's on the other edge. Just have to do the other edge. Yeah, mm-hmm but I'll scooch it over in just a second. So I put my, um, my, oh, what is that called? My spatula back in. I'm like, oh yeah, here's the little circle thing. And then I can use that. I like how long and how comfortable the um, craft knife is. And it's very, very sharp. So that's great. And I think that any refills will work in these. Uh, so that's wonderful. So, you know, just your regular old craft knife refills will work. So that's great. Um, yeah, and I like the perforated edge. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the dental pick yet, but I'm sure I'm sure I'll need it for weeding or something. So I just cut that out and look, it has a handy dandy um, topper on it. So really you could leave it like that, but I'm gonna, well, I think I'm gonna put my, um, take your pick, you know, my sticky one back in. Uh, like I said, it has the perforator and then those other ones. And then that's great. We're all set with that. It looks good. It's popped up. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Just going to use my adhesive eraser here, get off any little blemishes, and then we'll start um, stamping out this really great image. It's a distinctive ink set, and um, it, it's beautiful. I have to say it's great for masculine cards, but I don't think it has to only be for masculine. And um, we're gonna start here with a piece of four inch, but I, I want you to have at least a four inch piece of paper, four inch by four inch, because we're gonna cut it down. Um, I do something silly here, so we'll have to do a take two. Uh, but I stamped this in Night of Navy ink, and my Night of Navy is very well loved, so it's not very juicy. Just stamping it on there, inking it up, and I'll use some pressure from my hand. I do get a little bit too much pressure, but we're cutting this down, so it doesn't matter if I have some over stamping. But I did overstamp twice with this set. Don't know if it's me today or whatever, but I did overstamp, so that might be an issue for you guys as well. Um, but we are going to be cutting it down. I looked into a circle, but I think I like this better as a square. Um, maybe I'll try it as a circle next time. So we'll just remove that. And, oh, did I tell you? No, I didn't tell you the great sentiments. So here's to happiness ahead. Congratulations. I wish our path crossed more often. I like that one a lot. Good luck on your new adventure. So there's some great set, great sentiments in here that we don't have. These are not your everyday thank you stamp. You know what I mean? So this is a great set to have with some really great um, sentiments. I like that good, luck, good luck on your new adventure. Here's the happiness ahead. And I wish our, cra our paths crossed more often. You know, um, a, a congratulations is a congratulations, but it's in a nice, neat font um so yeah anyway so i'm going to stamp that and here i do something really silly so this isn't this a great image it looks a hundred times better um in real life and it, and it dries back a little bit i think but i stamped this before i cut it don't cut it don't do it don't do it nope 
I'm going to uh, restart take two because I need to cut it before I stamp it. So I'm going to do it again. And this time I realized that Boho Blue and Smoky Slate was in this designer series paper. It looks like it's Boho Blue on Night of Navy, but I think it might be, I think you could get away with Smoky Slate. And since Smoky Slate is in this um, designer series paper, the Take to the Sky, I thought we would just try it. My Smoky Slate and Boho Blue are both very, very, very juicy. I, um, I don't use them as often as my Night of Navy, so they are very, very juicy. And it doesn't look that great. Now here it looks better than it, you know, than it does in real life, but um, I did not like it. And I was told that if you use a credit card, an old credit card, of course, you know, no one that you don't care about, or a um, back of a plastic spoon, you can kind of, you know, smoosh that ink around so it's not so juicy. So here I'm gonna ink it up again, way over inked. Yep, did it again. I'm telling you guys, me in these cases, they just, we hate each other, I'm telling you. So clean that off, get all the um, Night of Navy and Boho Blue and Smoky Slate off, and then we'll ink that up. I actually hate, 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 hate this particular color with this stamp, with this um, image. Don't like it at all. The Smoky Slate looks better, but I really like the Night of Navy the best. Uh, that's just, yeah, the Night of Navy is the better one. So I think um, you'll agree with me. We're gonna try it one more time, and this time I'm going to see if I can grab some of that ink off. I know I don't like the color, but it's the blotchiness that I don't like. So I'm going to tap very lightly, and then I'm going to take um, a blender brush, one of my small blender brushes, and I'm just going to smoosh that ink around, kind of, you know, grab some off, and that actually works really well for me. There you go. Works really well. I just don't like the color. And I like boho blue, so kind of shocked. So I thought we would try the Smoky Slate one more time, make sure, see if we can get a really good image. Cause I, I you know, Smoky Slate's okay. Night of Navy, like I said, is the best, but I thought we'd try it. So I'm just going to, this is my last baby wipe, by the way. So I have to decide if I'm gonna grab my chamois or what I'm gonna do with that. Cause I never remember to wet my chamois and I don't wanna keep it wet all the time. Cause then it's stinky. So, or at least I think it gets stinky. So, so I'll just do that again, um, grab out, a blender brush and, you know, wipe off some of this. Cause I can always re-ink it, but I can't take away ink. So stamp that out. Especially if you have a stamp platform, that's the way to go, I think, for your newer inky, juicy ones. Once, once you get, um, once you use your stamps, your inks, um, you don't have any problems with distinctive ink. It's just those juicy, juicy ones that you don't eat, use very often that um, causes a little bit of problem. So it looked the same to me. So I'm gonna take this to the side. I'll cut it for you to show you how I did, but I'm gonna use that other Night of Navy. So I'm going to use my track and just bring it to the point where I can start seeing the um, image because I want it right up against my image. I don't I don't want, I want the perspective, but I want it so it still looks like it's still going. I hope that makes sense. So I don't want any white that's showing an empty area. So I have just about um, 1 16th or 1 32nd of an inch away from it, away from the um, image. So it's not, you know, it has a little bit of white there that if you really took the time to look, you could, but yeah, this ends up being and my sentiment is crooked. This is actually a really hard one to line up. I was surprised, I don't know why, but this sentiment was crooked for me for like three of them. So yeah, um, so I'm gonna cut this off right at the top, just under, just above the good luck on your new adventure. And it is three and a half by three and a half inches. So I would say if you um, have a piece of 
paper that is three and three quarters by three and three quarters and then cut it down, you'll do great. Here I look to see um, if I want to use the boho blue behind it and I do. So I'm just gonna cut that at um, three and five eighths by three and five eighths. So right between the quarter, I'm sorry, right between the half and the three quarters is the five eighths. And we'll just loop, loop, there you go. Wanted to make sure that mine were just perfect. And yeah, I got a little border around it. Just makes it nice and neat. I don't believe that our shapes, guys, nope. Our squares in our um, essentials were the circle and the squares and the banners are all pierced. Though that the largest one is three inches. I really like to mat my images when it likes this. It just gives it a final extra something something, don't you think? And I want this at the top. Yeah, just like that. Want it higher. I think it's a great sketch. Um, I, I don't think it would look as nice in a circle. I think this element, this, um, this train would look great in a circle. I just don't think that this particular sketch would look great in a circle. What do you think? Um, let me know if you guys use that trick where you get some of that ink off, how you get your ink off of your very juicy ones. Remember, you only want, um, sorry, you only want dimensionals on three quarters of this because yeah, it's going off the edge just a little bit, but still we don't want it on the edge. And I think it looks amazing. What do you think? Uh, love this designer series paper. Love this brand new online, online only? Online exclusive, that's the name for it. We'll cut a um, piece of basic white that is four and three quarters by six and three quarters so we can stamp the inside sentiment. Unfortunately, there's not a secondary sentiment that we can use. Um, for the inside of our card, but I don't think it needs it. I think it if we, yeah, I don't think it needs it. I love, I really like this card. Love the sketch. I'm gonna be using this one for sure again. I'm gonna take my Stamp and Seal Plus and just add some adhesive around the edges. Make sure that up is up and down is down. And I will stamp the congratulations in, um, Night of Navy. I thought that I would, I thought that I would stamp it in Misty Moonlight for a minute. I thought, well, you know, we could add a little bit more color in here, but in the end I figured, no, we'll just, we'll just use Night of Navy. And um, this one's a long, thin stamp, so it's, you know, might be worth, worth practicing to get it straight. Let me know if this is going to be on your wish list. Uh, I think this would be great for um, Christmas time because of, you know, the Polar Express. Well, I think that would be fun. Let me know if you like the sketch. We are going to use some of these gems. There's two different ones. There's these faceted um, gems or these, or there's the Misty Moonlight gems here. But then I remember there's the Night of Navy gems with the yellow ones because um, there's that sweet, remember, that uh, lemons and orange sweet? So yeah, so there's um, Lemon Lolly and Night of Navy in that one, I think. You can also use these great silver ones. I think they're called Smoky Slate ones, but in the end I use the Night of Navy. I use the large and the small ones. I. I have a hard time with placement. Does anyone else have a hard time with placement? Gotta move this one. It actually lets me move, so that's good. So let me know what you think of the online exclusive release. Um, let me know how you like the online exclusives. Are you guys going online and checking them out? I'd love to know. 
I know that more more things are going online. I think we're just going to have to deal with it. So, yeah, I think that's just going to have to be the way you have the future. Less catalogs and more online. But I really like this set. And this is the second really great set that we can use um, already, you know, before holidays. So this is a great one. Let me know what you think. I'd love it if you comment and subscribe. Thanks so much, friends. You have an amazing day. I think you'll be able to get this in July. Have a good one. See you soon.